Easy Snow Sports. Today we're talking about our Easy Rent system from Wintersteiger. Um, uh, we're OC Snow Sports here at 2306 Newport Boulevard, Costa Mesa, California. Uh, we're just on the south side of the 55 freeway. Um, if you're going towards the beach, that's the, we're on the south side, which would be uh, on the left if you're going towards the ocean. Um, we're between the streets of Victoria and Wilson. And uh, we're here in the shop. We're going to explain uh, our Easy Rent, which is a user friendly rental system. Uh, renting this year, uh, you know, because of this uh, uh, worldwide uh, situation, um, if you're looking to rent skis this year, a lot of people are going to be going outdoors. Uh, this is one way to save some time and effort uh, and uh, relinquish that uh, hourly wait at the lift lines or the uh, rental lines at the mountains and any other local shop. Uh, we spent a little bit more money to make this user-friendly user system into the shop. It's really easy to use, both for us and the customer, more for the customer. Just a little breakdown of the system. It's a, it's a paperless system. So there's no paper to fill out. There's no, uh, there's no uh, writing or, or anything like that. So it speeds up the, the uh, process of getting your rental gear. Um, and that, that helps both us and you to get in and out quickly. We save all that information digitally. So there's no paper to save. There's none of that. Um, and it helps both with you, you and your family, your kids. It's really uh, user friendly for the kids. Once we get the kids in here, we're gonna go ahead and measure them up on their boots, their skis, their poles, all that stuff. That's gonna be a one-time deal for a family situation and or for a single person. So once we capture your information into the system, uh, future rental is uh, basically a push button thing. You really don't even have to come back into the shop. You can call us, we can make a reservation for you. Um, in the, you know, that, that's what makes it a, a, what they call easy rent. Uh, once we capture your information, it's gonna be going forward, it's gonna be super, super easy. Uh, no waiting, um, you know, reservation wise, it's super easy, but we do need to capture your information one time uh, to capture the boot. We need a, the one process, part of the process we're trying to perfect is, is getting you into a ski boot or a, or a snowboard boot make sure you get the right size and you enjoy yourself on the hill. So anyways, we'll do a little, little test run through the Easy Rent system. What's real nice about this system, you're gonna come into the shop. We're gonna direct you over here to our Easy Rent check-in. Um, you're just gonna go ahead and select what you're gonna be renting. Um, it's either gonna be skis or snowboards. So pretty simple. You go ahead and select your ski and snowboard rental. It's gonna ask you how many days you are going to rent. Now this is a discussion I have a lot in the shop. It's very simple, pay attention, because I repeat myself a lot on this. Whatever day you pick it up, and whatever day you drop it off, you are not charged for the day of pickup, and you are not charged up until two o'clock of the day you drop it off. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Give you an example, if you pick it up on Friday, Anytime on Friday, I am not gonna charge you for that Friday. If you drop it off on Monday, if you drop it, if you pick it up on Friday and you drop it off on Monday, you're gonna be charged Saturday and Sunday, okay? If you pick it up on Friday and you drop it off on Sunday, if it's after two o'clock, you're gonna be charged for two days. If it's before two o'clock, you will be charged for one day rental. I don't know how much clearer I can make that. Some people struggle with that, um, but that's what the charges are gonna be. I can't, uh, I know a lot of people complain about they're traveling for a few days. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, that's how rental business works. Um, and that's what you're gonna be charged. So being very clear on that, people, people struggle with that. For some reason, I'm not clear why, but that's the way it goes. So you're gonna go ahead and select how many days you're gonna rent uh, based on your your days you're gonna have the skis out of the shop. You're gonna very easily, you're gonna type in your name. Uh, and if you're already in here, it's gonna, it's, it's a very easy system. Once we get you in here, you don't even really have to do this. You can, 
it, it won't speed up the process one way or another once you're in the system, but once initially to enter your information, it's gonna ask you for your first name, your last name. Your date of birth is critical because it's, it's, it's calculating your age automatically. Um, so parents, you're gonna fill out that you know, correctly for your kids. Um, individuals, you wanna put that in there, your address, your zip code. Um, C and uh, people struggle with that. C and ST means uh, city and state. Your email and phone number, that's critical for us to have all that correct information. Let me see if I'm in here. Sometimes it'll grab it. Go through that. See, it did grab me, so it knows that I'm in the system. Once you key in your birth date and your name, it'll automatically populate your information. Very simple system, computerized, really easy to use. Go ahead and hit forward. So then it asks you for critical information. So we're renting a ski here, so we do need your height, your weight. What type of skier you are? This is a critical part of uh, questioning the customer when you are renting. If you've never skied before, obviously you're a beginner skier. If you're, um, that's a level one skier. We typically have a sign up here to explain those situations, but basically to explain to most people, a level uh, a one, uh, when you say level one or, or level two or level three skier. Level one basically is a beginner, not aggressive, uh, so, but I like to explain it as somebody that's just learning to ski or is uh, limited time or experience on the hill. We're probably going to set you on that one level. You're going to want to rate yourself as a one skier. Two is what we call intermediate or level two skier. That's somebody who's uh, what we say, what I try to describe as we call them an intermediate skier, which is somebody that maybe is not aggressive, um, likes to maybe, uh, I explain to people as, if you're going down the hill, you take it easy, you make a few stops, you take your time, you're pretty safe, uh, all the above. That's a level two skier, so you can classify yourself as a level two skier. Level three skier and above, level three skier and above is somebody that, uh, you know, my, my whole experience of skiing is uh, riding that chair lift up to the top of the hill and going as fast as I possibly can to the bottom. Okay, that's, that's, what, I, that's what we call an advanced skier. Um, who can ski at high rate of speed with control. Uh, we're gonna call them a level three skier. So you go ahead and select that. Uh, you select all that information and you go through the next process. Uh, we have a coverage fee. You can, you can pay a little bit. I think it's a dollar a day extra to cover your coverage fee. Um, and that will, that will cover anything like nicks, bad nicks or p -techs missing from the bottom of the ski or some over abuse to the equipment, we'll go ahead and cover that for you. Um, but if you don't take it, we're gonna, if it's a really a bad, snowboards do a really good job of beating the stuff up. So um, we might have to charge you for p -techs work or things like that, but you could select that either way. It doesn't matter to me which one you get either way. If you damage my gears, you're gonna have to either pay for them or you're gonna have to have them repaired. So that's one option for you on that. It's a minimal charge. Okay, so we're either gonna complete or we're gonna go on to the next person or your family member. It'll automatically populate in the system a family, okay? So we won't have to, we, we, when we pull up dad, everybody else is gonna be in the system along with them or mom or whoever the parent is. So it's pretty user friendly. Real quick, we go ahead and complete that. And what it'll do is it'll pick, pick, pick out a, a little slip for us. It's really for the customer's uh, information. And what it shows on there is my name, my last name, my address, phone number, uh, date of birth, email. It gives out the, the weight, height, and ability, level three skier, performance ski. Last, It even tells me on here what you rented last time. So here it says, last time Daryl rented a pair of skis. He was on a 165 performance RTM Alpine boot size was 27.5. So all that information's in my system, very simple. If a lot of people come in, they don't remember, it's gonna tell you what you have next time. So 
very user friendly. You go ahead and uh, you're going to be, hopefully, you're going to be the only person in here. When the snow comes down, that's not going to happen. You're going to have some people coming in here. You're probably going to wait in line, but uh, luckily we're using an e easy rent system and you're not going to have to wait long. This is, this is already in the system. Um, we're going to talk about uh, uh, once we get you uh, in your information in the system, our next step is going to be finding you uh, the right size boot. This is a critical part of your rental system, uh, skiing and snowboarding, first of all. Um, we do have uh, new gear here in, in OC Snow Sports. I opted to spend a little bit more money and get a little bit better gear. Um, all my gear, most of my gear is either a uh, year old or newer. Uh, I do have a lot of new gear here. Uh, we have uh, better boots. Uh, these boots are all in great condition. Like I said, most of my gear is new. Uh, we offer the Debello boot, the, the head system with BOA for the snowboarders, so there's no laces to mess with. Very easy for kids, very easy for, for the snowboarders to get in and out of their boots without having to mess with, with uh, you know, laces and things like that. Things breaking, it's very durable, they're great fitting. Um, but we do need to size you correctly because it is a critical component on where we go from there and how it fits on the ski. So we'll have somebody go ahead and fit you in the boots that's probably the most uh, time consuming part of the whole process is just figuring out what size boots you need both for your snowboards and your skis. Um, some of the ski selection we have here in snowboard selection, we have the easy run system for the, the boards, the bindings are, are you know, click and play, which we just put them on, we don't have to screw them together with screwdrivers, it's just a one tap thing. Um, we have uh, for rental skis, we do the RTM, the higher end vocal RTMs for the men and women, some higher end stuff for that. And then for the kids, we have a lot of new gear. Uh, we have some twin tips for the hot rods and uh, all the good vocal skis for the younger kids. Uh, boots do, uh, ski boots are all good like I mentioned. Um, and then the other thing we also do here is we do demo, uh, which uh, people, people, um, ask me this a lot, what is a demo ski? This ski right here is exactly what the ski is on our rack that we're selling. It's not an upgraded rental, it's not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to uh, sell it or upgrade anybody into rental, you know, somebody wants to try, this is a ski to demo. It's like, uh, just what it says, it's a demo ski. You wanna try a ski before you buy it, this is how you do it. Um, we carry most of the most of the skis that I have out on the rack, head, K2, vocal, um, you know, they're, they're um, and, and I'll have a few more, there's a few more uh, in the rack system over there, but typically whatever I have out on the rack as a selling ski, I'll have an opportunity for somebody that might want to try it before they buy it. You know, some of these skis, um, you know, they're, they're, uh, people want to make sure that they have the right gear when they invest in their, their gear. This is a way to do it. We do not demo boots. Uh, we do not demo snowboards. Okay? We just don't do it. Demoing snowboards, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do it. Uh, boots, uh, some shops do at the hill. That's a different situation. We're here in the city, so it's a whole different situation. Um, we do lots of boots here as, as we mentioned in some of our other videos we do a lot of custom boot fitting here um, we have multiple multiple manufacturers and models um, so we offer that and in regards to your boots some people do buy boots and come on back here and rent skis that's that's a good way to do it too um, but boots are that critical part you want to spend a little bit of time both in your rentals and your, your regular gear on to make sure you get your fit so anyways um, we'll go ahead and the system itself uh, very easy to use. We'll go ahead and log all your information in there. You have your tab, it'll already be in there. You want to come on up here, either have the technician uh, pull up your name or you can have him the ticket. He scans it, pulls up everybody's information instantly. So that saves a little bit of time there for you. Um, our, our, uh, our rental system, you know, we're, we're just like everybody else. We rent by the day. Um, we don't rent, we, we do discount a little bit on extended days, um, meaning if you go over, you know, two days or three days, um, we have it listed on our website what our charges are, but we do discount a little bit on extended trips. Um, 
but we rent by the day basically. Um, and those charges are based on adult or junior packages. Um, so it, in the, when I mean a jun junior packages, it's really based on what booth they're in and what ski they're gonna go into. So that will differentiate between an adult and a junior package, both in snowboards and skis. Here's some of our skis, here's some of our, I mean our snowboards, here's some of our skis that we offer. Um, and that's really it. The other part of the rental system is uh, once we get you in, like I mentioned, once we get you in here through that process, we're going to go ahead and have your information in here. Like I said, it holds all the information. So it, and if you, you are a renter that rents uh, maybe once or twice a year, this system's great for you. Um, you can call ahead. You can make a reservation. We're going we're gonna to take the payment then. Uh, when you make the reservation, we're going to have the information on your gear. We're gonna set it up ahead of time, and basically what you do is come in here and grab it. There's no waiting, okay? So that's what where that easy rent uh, verbiage comes from. That's what this system's all about. So if you have any questions about how we do the easy rent system here or our rental systems here at OC Snow Sports, please give us a call. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything, but uh, it's very, very uh, user friendly. I, I opted to have a, a, a easy rent system in here. I, I've worked in the industry and rented many, many years, and it's sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a challenge to get uh, three kids and two adults in here to rent gear. It's not in OC Snow Sports. Uh, be ready to be taken care of quickly and efficiently, and we'll get you on some really nice gear, and everybody's going to have a great time. So come on in and see us at OC Snow Sports. Again, we're at 2306 Newport Boulevard here in Costa Mesa, right off the 55 freeway. Can't miss us. We're, uh, we, got a, we got a gondola uh, in the parking lot, and we got skis on the fence. So if you can't find us, give us a call. We'll make sure you find us. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we look forward to seeing you here at the shop.